Good morning everyone. Magandang umaga po. Maayong aga sa inyo lahat. Um, I'm privileged to introduce our speaker for today. Actually, she is uh, a good friend of mine. She will be speaking in behalf of Director Jeremy Robert Barnes, who unfortunately uh, won't be able to attend today's um, celebration because they are very busy with the upcoming um, opening of the, Nash the Philippine National Museum of Natural History. I think everybody's quite excited for that. Uh, it's a big budget production, I presume. You see, everyone, as I remember, everyone, if you do travel outside the Philippines, ano mo na po yung pinipuntahan ba? You always visit a museum. And it's about time that when we do go around the Philippines, we too will be proud of our own national heritage. Of course, we have our own museums here, being built at Dubino Spines, uh, the Agri Museum of, of Circa, and of course our uh, yeah, Rice World Museum at Erie, as well as our very own UB Abbey Museum of Natural History. So, to, um, in behalf of uh, Dr. Barnes, I will just introduce Ma'am uh, Maribel R. Manuel Santos. Hope I give justice to this introduction. She is currently the head of zoology uh, division of the Philippine National Museum of Natural History. But then, who will officially? Her name. Of course, it's part of the National Museum of the Philippine System. Um, I have known for 26 years since I came over at the National Museum. As a student, uh, they had a very nice library at the zoology division uh, when I was starting my studies in ornithology. Um, her field of exper expertise is on carcinology. Is everyone's familiar with carcinology? The oncology, that's a different field. It is the study of crustaceans. Um, so she has done that after completing her PS zoology. She is a zoologist uh, from the University of the East. There are MS in Biological Sciences from the University of Santo Tomas, which of course has the oldest museum of natural history. Actually, it's too old. Their name is in Spanish, Museo de Natural History. And currently pursuing her PhD in Ubiquity and Learning. Uh, she has described many new species, uh, particularly Brachyuran crustaceans. Have you put in Brachyuran crustaceans? You eat most of these. These are the crabs. The mahili po sa so uh, from the Philippines, she has described over, I think, probably 100 species. Mostly in collaboration with Dr. Ong and J.C. Mendoza from the National University of Singapore. And of course, recently she's described two new species of cesarmic crabs from Palawan, uh, together with uh, Henry Freitag from the Ateneo University. In 2014, she was featured by ABS-CBN. Oh, uh, why consider a career as a museum, museum curator? I think that's a, a very good question we always ask ourselves, which is the re reiterating the demand for careers in museum curatorships in the Philippines, having been with the National Museum for 30 years. Um, we were both plenary speakers for an integrated biodiversity assessment at the 2016 International Symposium on Biodiversity as Economic Resource. Innovation Exploitation for Science and Society, which was organized by our friend Henrik um, with the Berlin Natural History Museum in Athena Vida. So, um, again, uh, very pleased to introduce um, Ms. Marie Ben and Manuel Santos. Good morning. May tala wala yung kapako? Thank you very much, JC, for this. Nagdeserve ka talaga tungkol sa akin. But anyway, uh, I'm here to represent our director, Jeremy Barnes, uh, because he, we are really, he has been, he's really very, uh, uh, very busy and, you know, nervous about this uh, upcoming opening. Uh, this Saturday. I, I, I still don't know the details, so I'm just telling you about this. So, <laughs> on his behalf, I'll be presenting the shifting the concept of natural history museum, reorienting the position of man and his environment in the museum to focusing on the nation's unique, unique heritage of geology and 
But for us, it's the first of its kind in Southeast Asia. The proposed Philippines National Museum of Natural History is scheduled, is scheduled to open fully by middle of next year, so 2018. Our intention is to feature the unique natural heritage of the country in a heritage building that has been designed for adaptive reuse. The Philippine National Museum of Natural History will be the last of the three buildings that is part of the master plan for the National Museum Complex in the Rizal Park area. Unlike its European and North American predecessors, the Natural History Museum will divest itself of the colonial shroud that it bore since the early 20th century, in which anthropology is heavily implicated, where human beings uh, intervene, process, and ultimately exploit the natural world. Rather than a human-centric perspective, it will showcase and celebrate our nation's unique and amazing natural history heritage, as well as highlight the conservation needs of our environment through interdisciplinary approaches. Unfortunately, due primarily to habitat destruction, our country is also recognized as one of the world's global biodiversity hotspots. We felt motivated and we aspired for a museum that would showcase our country's rich biodiversity, while at the same time raise time awareness about the environmental issues we are facing today. Uh, a while ago, our uh, the PLB Chancellor Sanchez and uh, Vice Chancellor Dimapelis and uh, have, uh, have have told us or informed us that it's really very challenging to put up a museum. So I think most of the museums that I know even abroad uh, ask the same. Uh, challenges that we face, not only for environmental, but also more on financial resources and, you know, and uh, procedures, I call it procedures, or the, some bureaucratic uh, procedures. But despite our desire to convert the former de Department of Tourism building as early as 1998, and fulfill the National Museum Master Plan. Several impediments could curtail its possibility until 2011. So, time and again, uh, every time I present about the National Museum of Natural History, we will tell you that next year we will open, next year we will open, and then this year again we will open next year. <laughs> uh, because of these challenges, that we always face. It's time we tried to uh, finish something, there came another challenge that we had to face. So while it's tempting to show everyone how far we have come, I would rather go through the challenges we had to face in the process of developing a museum in this context of seemingly limited resources and within the framework of increasing importance to a national museum to provide its visitors leisure services, facilities, and sites of knowledge. Well, uh, before we we go into the exhibition process. We had this National Scientific Board or Consultants or Advisory Board uh, that we, uh, that the uh, directors of the National Museum uh, uh, consulted with. 
So taking into consideration the suggestions of our scientific advisors, we try to connect the exhibition gallery towards uh, presenting presenting the significance of large bodies of water surrounding the Philippine Islands. And uh, together with geologic history and landscape, that somehow shape the unique, unique biodiversity of the country. So these are our consultant scientific advisors, uh, Dr. Eduardo Gomez, uh, Dr. Angel Atalan, of course, Dr. Derek of the Italy, Dr. Fernando Seminari, Dr. James Casalti, Dr. Neil Aldrin Mangiari, and other advisors like Sir Maria Lorenzo Khan, Mr. Our good friend Danilo Balete, Mr. David Deneral, and our foreign collaborators like Dr. Nandini, Dr. Brown, Dr. Gosliner, Dr. Peter Ng, David Lohan, and Dr. Ulgai, and several others. So, Apart from that, uh, we also conceptualize how many dioramas, graphic panel showcases, and how many media or audiovisual interactive should be presented. So this will be, i uh, just uh, show you the National Museum of Natural History pictures. So this was the, all, uh, if you can see, uh, these are the three the three buildings of the National Museum. This was the Department of Tourism before, where we are now having our National Museum of Natural History. And the basis of design concept in this, uh, in this museum is the tree. Of course, our foresters here will be greatly appreciate this. Yes. This is a symbol by all human cultures to describe the interconnectedness of, the, of all life forms on our planet. So, like the tree of knowledge, of good and evil. And also, they try to research on the world tree in the Norse mythology. And also, try to incorporate the tree of life in our own uh, cultural motif of the Mangyans and of the Maranao motif <coughs> and also this other tree of life made by Charles Darwin and this is how the, our uh, architect who uh, donated the design of the iconic tree of life in the middle of the natural history looks like. But of course, this iconic is supposedly uh, uh, presenting the DNA uh, did not materialize because uh, it will not hold the umbrella, the tree. So they changed into a more uh, stable structure. The tree looks like this, and the top of the tree. And our building also, uh, also thought of the green initiative, green building initiative. I mean, uh, every aspect of the building uh, conform to the the green initiatives that is now uh, being adopted by all the architects and engineers. So this is just the diagrammatic uh, area view of uh, one of the floors of the National Museum. So it is the curatorial view, the people's, the public view, and the gallery areas. So there will be five floors of galleries on this wing. 
This is the marble hall. Wow. Where we will put, uh, we will place temporarily the replica. No other than the popular long Only the replica. This is how we envisioned it. So I hope you will <laughs> do it right. <laughs> So we have uh, several gallery themes at the fifth floor because as you can see the tree of life has an elevator in the middle and the visitors will go right to the fifth floor where they will uh, visit first the introduction to the Philippines nature diversity. From the top, this is the summary of all the galleries that you will see. But of course, we will present the uh, endemic life forms in the Philippines, including our geology, of course. And if you can look at Lord, along with this is the evolution and geology of the Philippine Islands. And the facade would look like this. The minerals and energy resources. And then go down to the fourth floor, you'll see the ancient life or life through time. Hello. Together with this is the Mosi and Monte Forest. We started with the with the Mosi and Monte Forest to see the interconnectedness of the almost like reefs to reefs. So all the habitat, the lowland evergreen rainforest on the fourth floor, and the automatic and limestone karst forest. So the visitors will enjoy visiting uh, this type of galleries that uh, where we will present the unique animals in each kind of habitat and plants of course. Down to the third floor, we will feature the freshwater inland wetlands. That is uh, very critical also. And then we go down to now to the beach forest, mangroves and intertidal shores on the second on the third floor. And then to the marine well. So you see it's from top to the from the mountains to the sea. So this is how we render it. And then on the second floor, this will be a video presentation of the Philippines natural heritage, of our natural inheritance, like our protected, uh, protected areas, the marine and terrestrial, and our iconic animals and plants will be presented here. There will be a mini theater and several video shows. And uh, the other gallery, the gallery 12, will be a temporary gallery. It will be, and for now, for this uh, event, we will present the early naturalists in the Philippines, starting from George Joseph Kamen, who was a Jesuit and who introduced uh, the, uh, to study the plants and some animals of the Philippines. And then there will be an orientation foyer at the ground floor. And before our our collections look like this. But we are now uh, in the process of securing compactors in a controlled environment so that uh, there will be a uh, air, air, air conditioning unit, uh, air conditioned room or control temperature 24 7 so that we can really take care of our natural uh, heritage. So. And also so that will, the exhibitions will appeal to the public. Thank you very much.